everyone, this is Allie, and today I'm going to show you a card I made featuring Newton Nook Designs Autumn Mice. When I first saw this stamp set, I just thought of watercoloring it. It just looked like a really fun set um, to use that with. And I used Gina K Amalgamite to stamp those out, and then I did use my Alta New watercolors. As you can see there, I made a little color chart that fits right inside there. It included like a little wax paper with those, so it's nice, so it can sit right between those colors. And then I also did end up pulling in some Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, I'm kind of new to watercolor, so I don't tend to mix a lot of my own colors. So I did do that. Um, I used my black velvet brushes, and I think that was a number two. Um, I think I mainly stay with that through the whole thing because the images are pretty small um, and I am, again, like I said, I'm new to watercolor, so um, if I use a bigger brush, I tend to have a really hard time staying in the lines. So um, I approach watercolor basically like I approach my Copic markers. Um, I tend to lay down, you know, the dark or where your shadows will be, and I'll either pull that out or I will pull it out with another color. Um, I really do enjoy watercoloring, um, but it's just not a medium that I'm as familiar with or that I use as much, I would say, as my Copic markers. Um, I tend to do watercolor. I love my colored pencils. Um, but the, I am most comfortable, I would say, with my Copic markers. Um, but these watercolors with Altenew, um, are very nice. I think it was a great color selection. Um, they work really well. And I love, um, the little palette they come in. You can, it's easy to take somewhere, um, or to use at home. Um, and then you will also notice that I'm using Waffle Flowers Matte. Um, I really like that mat. You can lay down your cardstock, and because of the silicone, it doesn't really move around. So I really do like to watercolor on there. Um, and I just put it right over my Tim Holtz because that's always on my desk. So as you can see here, I'm just filling in some of the dark areas um, with the dark brown. I believe I went from like mocha to paper bag. Um, I kind of made, I made two mice a grayish and two mice a brownish. So I'm just going to go through and show you some of the coloring here. Like I said, I am not an expert. Um, I know some people like to enjoy just watching the coloring. So I'm just going to put on some music and then I will be back to finish up the rest of the card with you. Thanks. Talk to you soon.
Okay, so we're back. Um, I wish I had some more footage of coloring those, but um, something happened with my camera and I lost it. So that is all I ended up with. Um, but here we are now with the Whimsy die I used for the card. This is their Slimline Marquee die. Um, and I love that die. I just think it's so fun and funky and it does fit in like a long um, letter size envelope um, so you can still mail it as normal. So I already did my pre-cutting. I cut my card bases and then I used a Cartabella fall um, paper pack and I cut out uh, the middles for those. So you see me here. I already cut out my images and I'm just going to put together the card. So I'm going to glue those in. Um, to the slots in the middle is where I'm going to put my sentiment. I didn't pop up anything on these cards. These are pretty flat. Um, sometimes I don't always put a lot of dimension on my cards just because I do mail them. So here I am. I am just positioning where that sentiment's going to go. I do use, um, this is the Stamparatus by Stampin' Up. Um, I was a hobby demo with them. I kind of let that lapse, but um, I do love their Stamparatus. I think it's made really, really nice, um, and it works great. And I love that there's um, the doors come off, and you can move it up and down on their hinges. So if you wanted, for example, to make a card with a sentiment that was, say, in different colors, like climbing a ladder, you can do that. I know I'm probably explaining this really funny, but um, check out their Stamparatus if you don't have one or you're in the market for a stamp positioner because it has some unique features. Uh, I also have the Tim Holtz that I do use, um, but I find there's areas in that where you don't get as good as an impression um, and you do need if I lay like a little felt mat underneath um, it works fine if you don't um, then you may have areas that don't stamp as well um, I have yet to buy a misty I just um, they're expensive and since I already have these two I just haven't bought the bullet yet but I'm always game to new try new craft products <laughs> probably all of you I have too many um, so as you can see I just picked out some of those backgrounds that I thought would look good with those little mice so I just glued those on and then I'm just gonna find a place to put the mice I just love this set for fall um, I liked coloring all the little leaves. It was just so cute. Newton's Nook also has a spring, and I can't remember the exact name of the stamp set. I don't know if it's just spring mice or something like that, but um, I bought that one as well. Well, and I would like to use those together. So you see here, I'm on the second card now. I made the first one a craft cardstock base, and this one is just a white um, cardstock base. Um, it's probably my Nina. I tend to use the Nina paper everyone uses, um, or I use Michael's 110-pound um, paper. Um, so I'll go back and forth between those. And this was also from that Cardabella. 6x6 six six fall pack, um, just some other papers that I had used. I thought went with these mice. So same thing, I'm just going to glue those in the slots. Um, I'm going to put my sentiment in the middle and then I'm going to glue those mice on when I get that done. So this one um, you will see, it, it's basically the same card. I'm going to use that Stamparatus to do my sentiment again and then um, I like when a stamp set is large enough where um, you can put all the images on one card or you can break them up and get a few cards out of it so you can see here I'm just doing the same thing I'm gonna find a place to position that I'm using the same Catherine Pooler over coffee ink I'm just going to stamp that on there. I don't know if you have used her inks, but I love them. They are my favorite. Um, they stamp beautifully. 
I just have a habit of stamping twice, but you don't have to. Um, so here I'm just finishing up. I'm putting those mice on, and then my second card is done. I also um, decided to go ahead and put some of those little like matte gems or jewels on here. I think I did that off camera though, um, just to add a little something more to these cards. And you'll see I'm finished up now. And then I will show you a couple pictures um, of the cards when they're all finished. So thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or week.